actor is standing on stage, she's standing there as kind of the universal man or woman, able to think, able to feel, able to express, able to essentialize uh, what a text is trying to do with the object of moving, touching, transforming the people in the audience. So these are, it's a very compound and messy art form, which is why I like it. It doesn't, and it lends itself not at all to a neat justification about why do we still do this ancient, ancient thing. You know, I do it because I love it and because on a molecular level I believe in it and I believe in the power of the courage to express on voice and with words what you feel and think. So when we engage at Stanford with the kind of plays that Kira and I have been enabled by the department to work on, they've all been big idea plays. Uh, Our Country's Good was the first project we did with a large undergraduate population. We did Shaw's Major Barbara as our second piece and Arthur Miller as our third. It's interesting because we don't really write tragedy anymore in the American theater, not usually, and as a culture we don't embrace it. So to work on this and to work on what the function of that is theatrically is quite a rich journey for us and for the students. And certainly Miller had a lot to say. You know, he was writing about the McCarthy hearings by way of the allegory of the crucible when he wrote it, but what he's dealing with has other resonances now. So the play continues to be very alive for us in terms of its meanings, the reason of why to do it, in addition to being a great old theatrical heavy lifting expedition for men and women, which is important, especially in university setting. Historically, there's been a real division of labor between the analysts, the scholars, the critics, and theater makers, theater practitioners, so actors, dramaturgs, stage managers, designers. They train in different places, they train in different degree programs, but for Stanford, our mission has been, and it is, uh, it's something we always strive for, to fully integrate theory, criticism, and practice. And that's something we're really trying to do with this show because, you know, in a lot of classes you'll have an academic class that has some scene work or uh, acting classes that have some academic component, but it's usually heavily weighed towards one or the other. Uh, But with the actor's company and with this class that we're teaching, it's almost entirely balanced in terms of dramaturgical research Um, play investigation, theater history on the one hand, and the creation and active creativity of theater making on the other. So we see them as fully enmeshed. And I think that that's uniquely Stanford right now. It's about, I think more generally, with all of the projects, we sort of have to tell Stanford students for the first time that a lot of what they're dealing with in theater practice is failure. It's about managing failure, accepting it, recovering from it, and moving on. Because things do go wrong. Uh, You go on stage and one of your hand props is missing. Well, what do you do? How do you recover from that and not let the audience know uh, that something has gone wrong on stage? You kick it across the stage, Kira, into the wings, (laughs) as we've seen. (laughs) or uh, Or you miss a line. And, you know, this is why you have to remain alive and listen always for the first time so that if somebody drops out, an essential piece of information mm-hmm. in the text that it's reintegrated somehow or recovered yes. from. And that's yeah. a, it's, so ha- accidents and mistakes happen every single day. The more of them, the better, except the near fatal ones, um, because you become a great performer mm-hmm. if you can handle all of the balls that are being tossed in your direction and manage mm-hmm. them appropriately. The actor who's playing Tichuba, who is accused of witchcraft, actually takes uh, historical spells and creates a whole narrative around these spells, um, which is kind of incredible. And then we had one student who did a very um, academic uh, compare and contrast between his character in the play and the historical character in real life. Now, this character on stage is sort of a detestable character for the audience. But what he was trying to do with that paper was really investigate the motivation. And what he found was the motivation for that character was love, respect of the family, and a couple of historical circumstances that happened in the real uh, figure's life. And that's kind of incredible Mm -hmm. to see that sort of richness. I've never seen it in any other class that, um, you know, students have written papers for at Stanford. And that's incredible. And the same Mm -hmm. is true of their student presentations. They don't just bring a PowerPoint into the room and present with it. They'll do exercises, perform scenes, reenact sermons based on material that they've found. They spend about 20% of the time in their seats and the rest of the time 
moving each other around the space. And it's mm-hmm. really exciting to see them grab a hold of those uh, scholarly experiences and make them artistic, too. Mm. Uh, the best thing, actually, is Kira's sense of humor, which keeps us uh, happy while navigating the lives of 23 young actors with their ups and downs that, you know, no matter how tense or frustrating it can be in the process, you know, we always have uh, a lot to, to laugh about, and it's been steadily joyful for a really long time, so I find it, it's a very special uh, partnership, and um, I, I, there are many favorite things, but I would say her wicked sense of humor is amongst <laughs> the most necessary to our process.